Hello everybody, welcome to Michigan by the Bottle. I'm Shannon Casey. And I'm Courtney Casey. We are going, once again, beyond the mitten. Don't make the joke, please. Outside of the wonderful state of Michigan and the wonderful wine that comes from it, because I just found out the other day no. that they make wine outside of Michigan. And what better to, uh, <laughs> what better wine to try? I don't know, we haven't tried it yet. So. Let's do it. California. There was a, at the last Tweet and Taste, there was a comment um, by Adam Satchwell. He asked, did anybody die after tasting my wines tonight? <laughs> and somebody said that your wines were so good that California died just a little bit. <laughs> so we figured to make up for that, and so the people of California don't get upset, we decided to go to California and try some of these wines. I wish we could have gone in person since it's so cold here in Michigan. I know. I know. But we can't. But we decided to try something different. We talk a lot about Cab Franc in Michigan, right? That's one of their big... Um, Up and coming. Yeah, one of, the, one, of, one of the big identity wines or identity grapes. One of the, one of the red grapes that we do really well. Mm -hmm. So we decided to look and find one in California. I'm sorry, I'm laughing because I love when you say we. Oh. Because then I always picture you trying to make wine. Because you're not making the wine. Not going to happen. No. Um, Cornerstone Cellars. It's a smaller boutique winery in California, in the Napa Valley, Napa Valley area. They have a line called Stepping Stone, and it's really their lower, more affordable, everyday, Wednesday night with pasta wines. And they, they were kind enough to provide us with a couple of them. Although they're most well known for their Cabernet Sauvignons, their big, bold cabs, we decided to opt for some of their... Maybe they're less known wines, but again, something different for us. All right, let's so, check it out. So, a 2007 Cabernet Franc from the Caneros region. Again, stepping stone line from Cornerstone Cellars. Do -do -do. With much fanfare. With much fanfare. Now, we're, we're going into dangerous territory here. Two reds with me. I don't know. You may be surprised. This could be dangerous. Or you may hate them. Let's find out. I may hate them. That's very, <laughs> that's very, uh... Nice dark color, mm -hmm. little inky. It smells like a Zinfandel. Yeah, I was gonna say it smells like red wine. <laughs> it just smells like typical red wine. Not in a bad way, just no. Just it, maybe like a dark cherry. Yeah, I, I definitely. When you say Zinfandel, it is definitely the, the smell I associate with Zinfandel. Let's try it. All right, I'm gonna let you take this one. <laughs> not my thing. N not a fan. No offense to Stepping Stone. I'm usually not a big Cab Franc fan, and um, and I'm thinking this is gonna be more up your alley than yeah. mine. It it has a very. I'm just describing some of the qualities, mm -hmm. not describing my opinion, um, of it in general. Yep. But it it's very, uh, very heavy, very yeah. dry. Yeah. You know, it fills up your mouth. This has got a, a little rusty quality to it. I, I don't know exactly what that is, but I'm getting the the rust. I'm getting the earthiness. You know, we talk a lot about earthiness or fruitiness. This is very, very earthy. Yeah. I don't have anything Not to add. <laughs> Again, no offense to them at all. It has nothing to do with the quality of the wine. I'm just usually not very good with Cab Francs. I'm being honest. No, you absolutely should be honest. Whether we're tasting a Michigan wine or another wine, I mean, not every person is going to like every wine. Yeah. And just because you don't like this doesn't mean it's a it's a bad wine. It doesn't mean it's a good wine, even if you do like it, right? I mean, it's it's what we're tasting. We're telling people what we feel. And but our whole point of our vlog is just drink what you like. So absolutely. So no more Cab Franc for you. <laughs> so what do you think? You digging it? I am digging it. I again, it, it's, like it's something earthy. different. I, right. I, I like playing around in dirt, and that's what I'm getting out of. <laughs> Rolling this. around in dirty cab franc. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but it's still, I, I get the smokiness, and I and I even get a little bit of chocolate on it. Again, I'm not getting a lot of fruit, but I like that. To me, that's a that's a bold, you know, earthy statement. Four sips in, I like it a little more, but there's something on the back end that's that's hitting me funny. I don't know. That's where I'm getting the rust. I think it's just not my thing. No problem. All right. For our next red that you're going to hate. Well, that's optimistic. <laughs> I'm just kidding. A 2007 Grenache, again, from Stepping Stone, or from Cornerstone Winery, their Stepping Stone line in the Red Hills Lake County. I've never had Grenache, I don't think. Have you? I have. You have? Okay. I have. Well, what's it like? 
Well, it might have been a life too. You know, because you like Zinfandel and you like some of the bigger, bolder Malbecs, you might. Yeah, I'm kind of a question mark, aren't I? I'm <laughs> you're, a maverick. You're, you're something. The Grenache oh comes God, in at okay. about 20 bucks. Okay, and, and how much is the other the one? The Cab Franc came in at about 30. Okay. So. So I should like this 10 bucks less than the last one? Well. <laughs> <laughs> if, if wine prices had anything to do with quality or, or palate, then yeah, but I don't think they do. It's got a good crimson color. It's a, actually, it's a little bit lighter colored than the, than the Cab Franc, I think. Yeah, and I noticed I, I just washed out our glasses, and the, the Cab Franc really like left a, left a red tint to our yeah. glasses, so that was some powerful stuff. Ooh, very different nose. Yeah. Get your nose in there. Get in there. Come on. Okay, Miles Raymond. <laughs> Want me to show my whole face in there? Please. Absolutely. <laughs> what you get? Spice. Yeah. You know, it... it it's like somebody took the, the pepper shaker but didn't bother using the, the shaker and they tore it off and just dumped in a whole I'm bunch of <laughs> dumped a whole bunch of pepper in there. That's interesting. Yeah, let's, very peppery. Let's try it. I'm over two tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I I yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not digging it. Don't be sorry. They also make a uh I'm Sauvignon sorry. Blanc. They, they, they also make a Sauvignon Blanc that may be more up your alley. Probably would be because I'm not I'm not feeling it. I actually think I liked the feet, the mouth feel on the other one better because mm -hmm. it was it was more filling up your mouth. Felt like I had more substance. This feels thinner, but I, I just I'm just not yeah I'm not digging the back end on these. This is really spicy, you know, from the nose all the way through. I think yeah. I'm getting a, just a tremendous amount of spice. I can and still a, feel it. Like and a long, long yeah. finish. Yeah, yeah, which I did. You know, mm -hmm. I, I dig the long finish. Again, these are not fruity wines. Okay? No. If, if I like you, I like fruity. If you like, you know. <laughs> you like dirt, I like fruit. Yeah, if, if you like big fruit, this is not it. If you like more earthy tones, this is it. Because this, spice. this is really spicy. The other one was just more dirt-like, right? Mm -hmm. This is spice. This is, this is like licking pepper off the table if you smell it. <laughs> Peppercorn, right? <laughs> But I'm also getting some chocolate hints on this. Let me see if I agree. You know, that's more on the back end. But like, the, not not a not a not a sweet chocolate, but more like a bitter chocolate. Bitter, yeah. Like if, like you take baking chocolate. Yeah. Right. That says you're not supposed to eat it, but you do anyway because it's chocolate. You're like, hey, it's chocolate. Yeah. And, and you taste into it, and you get that little bitterness. Yeah. That's what I'm Holy getting cow. on this. Yeah. I dig that. To yeah, me, that's I, I, cool. I'll take this the sweet chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yes again no no offense to the winery at all not commenting on, on quality more just preference yeah I, I really like that nose yeah i just s spice and dirt get me excited do they make any riesling <laughs> i don't know i don't think so <laughs> we can't drink michigan wine seven days a week Why not? we can drink michigan wine six days a week once a week we owe it to ourselves, we owe it to our palate to go out and explore something different. Maybe you say something. Yeah. And so what we're trying to do here is to go and explore those things, see if there's things that we like. Um, to me, again, I like these wines. These are, these are fun, you know, for me, because they're something different. They're not the same Cab Franc that you get in Michigan, and I'm not sure that we, we do any Grenache here. Yeah, I, let us I'm know. If you're a winemaker and you grow Grenache, is gr Grenache is the grape, yes. Mm -hmm. If you grow Grenache, then let us know. Yeah. Because I've never had it. I'm myself. curious if anybody has had any Cornerstone wines, um, in particular the Stepping Stone label. Again, something new, something kind of fun for us. Yeah. So. What do you think? You agree with him? You agree with me? Let us, know, let us know what you've had. And in the meantime, check out MichiganByTheBottle.com, where we're supporting the state with every sip and going beyond once in a while.